To begin, we will need masking tape or painter's tape. Tear off four pieces to the size of each side of the label. Now, eye up and match these pieces along each side of the label on your bottle. Wrap them whatever's remaining around the back of your bottle and secure it properly. Now the Elmer's glue pictured right now we will not be using because I tried it already and it came out horrible. So I had to take it all apart, reshoot, and completely redo it all. Now we will be needing puzzle saver or Mod Podge, an applicator, which I got at Walmart for less than a dollar, and we will still need painter's tape the rest of the applicator on. Now put some of the Mod Podge on the applicator and begin putting it on the label. I worked from the top to the bottom on each side and completely covered the label and set it aside to dry. I did this at least three to four times for optimal effect. As soon as it is, it is completely dry, it will be water resistant, not waterproof. It will keep your label from getting completely wet when splashed by water and protect it from not only the splash of water, but the soap residue when it falls from the pump during use. Now I have this Dremel. It's one of my favorite tools. I use it on a lot of projects. We're going to take off the lid and we're going to go through our Dremel box and find all the tips that we need for the project at hand. Now we're going to take off the bit that we're not going to use and we're going to take the pump off of the soap that we are going to glue to the lid. Be sure when you take the pump out of the soap you clean off the soap so you don't end up with a mess. Now we're going to use the pump to size on the lid about where we need the hole to go. So we're just going to drill a small enough hole to fit the bottom of the tube in. That way we can use the lid later on in a few minutes to mark out where we need our hole and how large we need it. Now we're going to change out our bits because the other one just made it through the whole entire lid and this new bit will even it out and give us a little bit more shape throughout the plastic in the lid. Now you're 
you're definitely going to want to hold on to the Dremel really good. Now that the hole is big enough, we can place the pump inside of the hole and mark out how big we need the hole to officially be. Now we're going to get back to it and continue drilling the hole out along the lines that we just created. Now remember with the Dremel, please wear safety goggles. Especially if you've never used a Dremel before and you don't know how it's going to react. As well, be careful holding the lid because if you've never used a Dremel before and you're using it at high speeds like I had to do for this project, it can slip and hit your hand. So be careful. Alright, it looks like it's big enough now to where the lid fits, but we still have to make a few minor adjustments. And now we're going to fit it to the bottle and see how well it fits on. And it looks like it fits just perfect. Now we're going to take our razor knife and we're going to trim out the glue off of the tape. Now be careful when you're doing this because this razor knife that I use is exceptionally sharp and you're definitely bound to lose a finger or two if you're not careful. Okay, now we're going to start to peel off the tape. This is the fun part because you finally start seeing the whole thing come together. A little bit of residual glue will be left under the tape. Just wipe it off, rub it into the glass, it should come off pretty easy. You can even use the knife just to scrape off what doesn't come off so easily. Now we have the hot glue gun. We are reaching the final stages in creating our wonderful masterpiece. Okay, so now we take our pump again and we're going to clean it off. And I forgot to mention earlier, but I got this soap pump along with the soap dish at Joann's for a dollar. And one of them I even used a coupon on it and I got it for 50 cents. So this is a really cheap, easy hack to do. And I've had the glue gun laying around for a while. Now it's not one of your small glue guns. It's actually a commercial style, really hot glue gun. So now we're going to take the hot glue and we're going to put it down into the well of the pump and we're going to fit it directly on top of the top for the liquor bottle. Now on the inside of the liquor bottle we're going to take it off and we're going to put it right inside the lid just enough to seal it to the pump. You don't want to overfill it and we're going to put it back in the bottle and tighten it down. Now keep in mind, this is really hot glue, so it is going to stick to the glass. Take it off as fast as you can so it'll form around the glass, and you can take it off and clean it up real quick. That way, it'll be formed perfectly, and none of the soap will leak out when you're finished. Now some of the glue is going to stick to the top of the glass bottle. You're going to have to clean that off when you're finished. Okay, now we're going to affix the pump to the lid of the liquor bottle 
around the outside too. Just a little bit of glue will go a long ways. And be delicate when you're doing this last stage because you don't want to make it look terrible when you're finished. I still didn't like the way it looked when I was finished so I went and I got some black bias tape so I could wrap it around the glue bead. I didn't put any new glue on it, I just took the glue gun after measuring my bias tape and I heated up the glue that was already there and I put the bias tape on it when it was already heated. So I didn't have to add any extra and make it look any more terrible than it already was. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and heat up the glue completely around the pump and continue applying. And when we're finished, we're going to come to the end and we're going to have to trim up the piece that we put on it first. And we're going to cut off the second one that came all the way around a little bit longer than where it meets the first piece. And we're going to fold it under and then lay it down on top of the older piece so it covers it up and leaves it looking really nice. And when we're finished, we'll just take our knife and clean off all of the excess glue, which there shouldn't be very much. I ended up having a little bit of excess glue right where the two pieces of fabric ended up meeting, but that was about it. Okay, now we're going to take the razor knife and finish cleaning off the top of the bottle from where we fitted the lid on and had some excess glue stuck. Now fit the top onto the bottle to make sure it fits nice and snug. And it looks like it's finished. Now it's time to pour in the soap. I also noticed that with the dispenser I had, the tube that went all the way down to the bottom didn't actually reach that far, so I ended up having to interchange it out. I'm going to use a recycled Windex bottle or a cleaner bottle and clean up the tube really good before I place it on the pump since they're interchangeable anyway, and that way it'll reach all the way down to the bottom of the bottle and we can use all the soap. And tighten down your lid and your project's complete. I hope you enjoyed everybody and please like and share and join me next week for my next DIY project. Thank you.